guys, so it's 3.30 right now and we have to leave the house by 5.20 and I have yet to pick out my outfit for the Mayu. All my jewelry, I have to shower, do my makeup, file my nails, do all the things. So let's go pick out an outfit. Whenever I have, especially a Desi wedding, I always just wait till I come home to Cleveland to go through my mom's closet because with us being three sisters and my mom, we all basically share a lot of outfits. And let me show you her outfit collection. She has all of these, all of these all of these so for anyone who's unfamiliar with the mayu usually you wear more colorful outfits like yellows reds greens so let me set you guys down this one is so cute i don't know if it's too much or if it would fit me i'll put it in a maybe section should i have picked out an outfit for two hours before we had to leave probably is also so cute. I don't know, maybe this one is like too heavy. And my mom set out this one for me. Alright, so we are between these two outfits, both the same color scheme. I just need to see which one fits me better. I love Honestly, I don't even know if it really needs a lot of steaming. Maybe I'll just do the backs because the front is so detailed. Here's the dupatta. So pretty. It's kind of giving Mandy vibes. And I don't really think the dupatta needs steaming. This is called a garara or chirara type pant. Alright, so I've currently set you guys up in my prayer room at my house because there's a window right in front of here. I'm just going to make sure the face is moisturized. For this event, I feel like my vibe is clean girl makeup. I'm really not trying to do anything too heavy. I also just showered and wore my outfit so that I don't have to like worry about taking the shirts on and off and ruining my face. Right now it's currently 4.25 and again we need to leave here at like 5.20. So I want to finish my makeup in like the next 25 minutes so that I have time to put on my jewelry, do my hijab and just like get fully ready. I still have to file my nails. Worst case I'll skip out on that and then the wedding is on Saturday. Today's Thursday, I forgot if I mentioned that. So that day I'm going to shave my face. I just didn't think it was necessary for today and I'd rather have like a very exfoliated, smooth face for the wedding. <laughs> Since a lot of my makeup products are not BDS friendly, I'm not necessarily gonna mention what I'm using, but I also just, this is what I have and I'm trying to use it all up before I go purchase BDS safe products. So I'll just mention the type of product I'm using. I want definitely a glowy skin base. So I'm going to use, it's kind of just like a liquid glow cream. My philosophy with wedding makeup is that if you have like multiple events leading up to the wedding, whether you're a guest or the actual bride, I like to make my makeup a little less dramatic on those days leading up. Just kind of a more clean girl look. So next I'm just going to go in with some concealer. I was going to go in with foundation, but honestly, I just feel like going for a more lighter look. And I like to blend out my concealer with a beauty sponge. Well, that did not record, but I was just saying for a less dramatic contour look, I take it on my brush and I tap it up in an upwards motion and I use the tapping to blend it out. I kind of like that and I just add more if I want to build it up. I feel like for this look, I want more of a berry red blush. So I'm just gonna go in with like a super small amount of this. Again, I like to blend out cream brush and bronzer with a brush and kind of the same thing, tapping motions on the apples of my cheek, but I like kind of blend it up towards the eyebrow, if that makes sense. Please don't judge the hijab behind the ears, but it was just getting in my way too much. So I'm gonna go with just the classic, like, clean girl eyelid look. And I'm taking, like, these tones of colors, and I'm just gonna basically dust it along the lid, lightly bring it up into the crease, and blend it, like, up towards the brow, and out and up towards the tail of the brow to get that very clean like and then i'm gonna take that same shade dust it along the outer half slash up to like 
two thirds of the bottom lash line to give that shadow effect and kind of like connect it to kind of spice things up. I'm gonna take kind of like this poopy green color and dust that along my lash line just because this event is a colorful event and it kind of matches the green in my outfit. I am definitely a eyeshadow liner girl over a anything else eyeliner girl. A warm brown color and lightly go on the bottom lash line. And then you guys, the key to getting the big eye effect is taking a nude eyeliner and running it along your bottom waterline. Now I'm going to add some mascara. I'm not a fake lash girl. I honestly half the time don't like the way they look on me. I suck at putting them on, then they're uncomfortable. All right, I don't know if you can see, but if you ever get mascara on your lid, wait till it completely dries and then take your spoolie and just kind of like crust it off. I also went ahead and powder, bronzed and blushed my face. I will put a lip on right before we leave, but now I need to go do my hijab, jewelry, and if I have time, take some pictures. I'm just going to very quickly file my nails. Don't mind the kitchen. So they're basically shaped into the oval shape that I like, but I just want to kind of clean them up on the sides. And you guys, my cuticles have been so dry and I put so much lotion so much aquaphor or vaseline i don't know if i need to get like an oil all right so i would like to pin my dupatta and i hope these safety pins are good enough it's always helpful when you have some help okay i'm gonna do this off camera So this angle is weird. I'm gonna put my earrings on. They match the necklace. Oh, where's the back of the earring? Uh, LOL. Suppose that's a sign that I sh can't wear the earrings. Well, these are what I would have worn. So we made it out the door. Sorry, this AC is a little loud. I'll just turn it down for a second. Um, we're probably running like 10 minutes behind, but that's really not that big of a deal. So Salah and I are matching. This is actually the outfit he wore to our Tolki. And again, this is my mom's outfit. And I feel like since the necklace is kind of a statement, it's okay that I don't have earrings because I have my rings and I think that's enough. And I decided to wear this like JC purse, kind of just like clips in the front. But yeah, so far a pretty good start to the wedding weekend. This is my sparkly gold uh, hijab turban. I think I ordered it off of Etsy and for especially the AC events, it comes in clutch so many times because it's just that extra little something. And the makeup turned out good. But you guys were so hungry. I brought some cheese sticks because they're not that messy. They can have food there. Uh, yeah, they usually have food at these things. And uh, so th this is solace like fourth or fifth Desi wedding. So he like kind of knows the drill, but he also is kind of new to this still. But I think we're gonna do, they might have some dances. I'm doing a speech, so I need to practice my speech in the car, but that's kind of the plan for the night. Okay, so I put the speech on my phone. Let's see here. Hi everyone, my name is Dina. <laughs> Just kidding, I'm not gonna say that. To keep this speech short and sweet. Oh my God. It is wedding day. It's, I think, 10.30, and I'm just going to make coffee. They have some cool coffee here. here. I would also love an iced coffee, but I don't know if we have time to go get that. And there's not really a lot of great coffee shops around my house. Sorry if you could hear the vacuum. My parents like recently redid their kitchen and they just installed the countertops yesterday and it's this gorgeous quartz. It's so great. 
so it's 10 40 i want to start getting ready around 11 30 because we have to leave here at 1 30 so i want to give myself plenty of time also look at how cute this mug is um, i went on a run this morning because i just wanted to get some movement in this venue is like two hours away so i knew we'd be in the car for a while and i just felt like i hadn't run in four days and so i'm really glad i did i only did like two miles so i feel like much more awake and just warmed up but yeah yesterday we did not do anything yesterday was friday i went shopping with my sister at one of the malls here and that was fun yeah basically the whole day is wedding stuff i'm probably just gonna chill until maybe like for 20 minutes then i'm gonna make some breakfast i just ate my breakfast now i'm kind of just gathering my stuff but let me show you my outfit so it's like a langa jolly type thing so this is the shirt so pretty i love this color i love the detailing this big beautiful skirt and then we are all obviously matching and wearing these green dupattas but guys i'm most concerned about what hijab i'm doing if i'm doing a turban or a wrap style i feel like i did a turban for the mayu and i want to see if i could pull off a wrap all right guys quickest fit check of my life we are running a little behind but we need to pray then we will go here she is. Now I don't have all the jewelry on. I just put my tika on. I said that's so white. I'm going to wear a choker and earrings that match with the tika and some bracelets. And I'm going to put my lipstick on in the car. Again, we have a two hour drive. All right, so we are like 10 minutes away from the venue. Again, this was almost a two hour drive. So I just finished putting on my jewelry, my earrings, necklace, this ring, and then these are just some bracelets that we had at my house and i also finished doing my lip but i think i'm basically ready um salah has to get his suit jacket on and i probably won't take a lot of videos at the wedding just because you know it's an intimate wedding but yeah i hope you guys enjoyed kind of just coming along a nice wedding weekend in my life and I hope I gave good tips for how to get ready. Didn't really show my getting ready process for the wedding today, because honestly, I was in a bit of a rush, but basically my makeup, I did it the same. I just made the eyes a little more smoky. And then this dupatta, I pleated and then I pinned it on the shoulder. I'm not really the best when it comes to this, but I think it looks good enough. Maybe I'll insert some pictures and some videos that I get. But, yeah, you guys enjoy.